welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be brushing and putting clips in Kim's hair. I may or may not talk throughout. I don't have too much to say, but I might just make you aware of what I'll be doing occasionally. So. Hopefully, you'll find it relaxing, and we will get started. to brush everything out as I go along so that way her hair doesn't become one giant knot. I'm going to put some water in her hair, just because I think it's extra knotted underneath from me brushing it up.
got all brushed out now. Her hair will get knotted again just because of the stuff it's made of. So hopefully we don't have to brush too much more as we clip. I think we're going to start with my large claw clips and find a color that's nice for her hair. And then we will just randomly clip with some other hair clips I have. And maybe find a butterfly clip that complements her hair. So this is my Claire's bag of claw clips. These are the ones I don't typically use in videos, but they came with the giant package where the other few that I regularly use came from. So I'll pull them out. finger comb through it because I don't have anywhere to set the brush if I picked it up I'd have to keep bending down and I cut out every well almost every time I bend down to pick something up so when I have a better setup for that it'll look a lot nicer but for now we're gonna just finger comb it Okay, so that's cute. Have up like that. Adds a lot of volume. But as for the color, I think this one goes nicely with her hair color. It does kind of get lost though. It might be a little too close to the color. Of course it's going to get lost if I cover it. Really cute look. Let's take it out. Try the next one. I know the 
this brush is covered in her hair. She sheds like no other. again but instead of flipping it up I'm just gonna twist it and clip it back. Maybe I'll do a little bit less than half. comes nicely but this one is quite bold in her hair with how bright it is and how light her hair is. So while it does look nice, I think with specific kinds of clothing, depending on the color palette, the white would look really nice for something like that. But for every day, say it's kind of in your face. In her hair. I'm going to try the blue next, which really matches my shirt. Besides you know, taking all of the hair and putting it up, but I don't think these clips are big enough to hold all of her hair. She does have a lot, and it is fake, so it doesn't it doesn't really uh, grip like real hair. Not that that's going to be seen. Now, she does have strawberry blonde hair, so it's more closer to orange, I would say. Could go redhead. But blue and orange do complement each other. So this one's not too bad. In her hair, it looks okay. But let's try a different color. I might as well just keep the hair twisted like that, don't you think? Let's see how the black clip looks. always sleek and sophisticated, so it doesn't look awful in her hair either. So I'm crooked. Good standard clip every day. Color for an update. 
do. Cute. I like that. Perfect for fun, fun updos and outfit colors. Sometimes she looks like she has a massive head. That's how they sit, but I guess that is the back of her head. Right there. She's got a long head. Okay, and then we have two more. We have the sky blue, light blue, and then the brown. And I'm thinking the brown is going to be like the perfect match for her hair. Do the blue first. Okay, the blue, this white blue. This again good. I think it goes nicely. She could rock a lot of these colors. perfect outfit. This would go nice with some kind of white dress or a romper. White t-shirt even, blue jeans. I think of going on a boat when I think of this color. <laughs> this looks like um, a little boat trip kind of, kind of deal. Perfect for outside. Lastly, we have the brown, and I think this one is perfect for her hair. It complements the reddish tones in the strawberry blonde, and it also, I'm going to show you her face. Not blonde though, but her eyes are a nice brown as well, so I think that really pulls out her eye color. And overall, browns, browns are great. Let me grab a different kind of clip that's brown and we'll see how that one looks. Like. So you've got the tortoise shell kind of brown. It's got the tinges of caramel and dark brown in it. I think this would work great as well. Also adds a little bit more shape and fun to the accessory and the hair. The way the light catches it can be different colors. I think that's really cute. So browns, brown tints are what complements her hair the best. Now let's move on to just willy nilly putting clips in her hair. Brush her out again. We'll try a different brush. Got the wooden brush.
start with these fun clips. This cheetah print one matches the scrunchie she had in her hair at the beginning. And I think even this would complement her hair really nicely. And then I have this purple butterfly one. This is from Hot Topic. It's got gems that hang off of it and a little wing. And this one's always fun to put in people's hair. Just adds a little, little bling. And at this point, I'm not going to necessarily do hairstyles. We're just going to clip. Clipping for the fun of it. So let's put this clip over here. Around Halloween time when I find my skull and bat clips again. I'll have to show you a cute hairstyle I did with them. I did record a video for it, the audio cut out at one point, and it was just, I was so upset. I really wanted to share that video, and I didn't get to. Okay, so. On the side we have the Chia print one, and we'll do the same thing on the other side with the butterfly one. And This would be cute if I had two of these doing something like this. The extra little dangle charm on it. And something, and I think that the purple looks really good in her hair as well. I don't think I had a strictly purple hair clip that came with those clips. I've got this little fish bowl that I filled with clips and I think there are some piercings in here. <laughs> I don't know how they ended up in here, but they did. So I love these kinds of clips because they're perfect for like parting the hair. Sectioning stuff back. Double checking on this side. And some of them have longer 
bottom parts of the clip and others have shorter ones. This one's shorter. And this one's longer. I typically favor longer ones, but short ones are okay too. Yeah, it's so heavy, I couldn't pick it up. Same thing. Grab this stuff. Pull it back. Kind of looks like fingers <laughs> grabbing her head. I've also got more of these kinds of clips. And some Jonas Brothers ones. Jonas and Camp Rock. Because I wasn't having any kids. They are literally the same thing. Just different pictures on them. Let's get stuff here. There. Let's get this hair up. Put it there. And there's this bigger clip too. The same thing on this side. Okay. Well, maybe not the same thing, but close enough. Sure. Let's see. It's just because there's two clips in the one. I also have plastic ones. And I know I had two of these metally ones, but I don't know where the second one is. So I got one. Take this here, clip up here. Take this here, clip it up somewhere. down here. I feel like we need a big clip and we'll just put it all up. Like so. Let me grab one. And use this one. I'm good to know. Into this monstrosity. And we'll take it back down and brush it out.
got the butterfly clips. I think we should do one of each in her hair to test which one's the most flattering. myself in my it happens right. have you ever see me awkwardly pause in the middle of something I try to cut them out but if I don't catch it I'm staring at notifications on my phone. <laughs> they pop up and some time, sometimes I have to obviously look at them. They're probably urgent or so. But like today, I just keep getting them emails. They just keep, <laughs> they keep showing up. So if I don't cut any of those out, just know I'm not like, I don't know. It's just me looking at a notification, trying to read what it says real quick. Okay. So this is interesting. I'm thinking the paler ones complement her, like this one and this one, this one, so like the blues and purples. But then surprisingly, I also think this one does. So let's take out the pinks. Even though they are still cute in her hair. Something caught there. This one's just too deep of a purple, I think. This one. And now we're left with the four. So, let's see if I should move them up just so you can see them a little better. Oh, I happened to put that like right. Even with the other one, can't even see the other one from over here. Okay, well these two are similar. Kind of just had the colors flip-flopped, really. But I think this one works better still, so let's take this one out. This is not me saying she can't wear all of these. She most definitely can. But I'm just looking at what complements her right now. I'm thinking overall the just plain blue one. It isn't too bright, but it's not too dull. And because it's a solid color, it really stands apart from her hair. This where it gets a little yellow kind of blends in. Goes from blue to green to barely yellow. And this one comes in a close second with how it's close to the... It's nearly the blue, it's a little purpley, but... Pink does add a little bit of something in the right lighting. It does stand out, but overall, I'm for the light blue. Okay, let's 
to the like ruins. Not really that it was a competition, but you know. So let's put these at the front of her face. Frame her face. I'll turn her just enough so you can see. To brush through that. Flip her forwards, you can see kind of what she looks like with the two in front. Super cute, super sweet, simple. And that is going to be all for this video today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the clipping and the hair brushing films. And I will see you in my next video.